Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Somebody make it make sense for me. And so that's all I question is the legitimacy, the authenticity, the accuracy of his basketball career and many other things that had nothing to do with basketball in his book. And he called me a bunch of names. And he called me Cain and the worst person on the planet and everybody black hates me. And it was all a bunch of name calling. Has he ever, like, explained the six-inch screw in his knee? Ever. And what I find fascinating, and this is how you know they're all in on it. Everybody's in on it. I'm talking about Faison Love, Willie D. It's all WWE. Because they all know that, like, if I'm Willie D., and I want to criticize Stephen A. Smith. Just take the layups. Just, just, hey, man, uh, Stephen A., explain the 17 straight three-pointers. Explain the six-inch screw in your, in your knee. Uh, ex- explain all these other farcical stories detailed I- in your uh, book. But they never go there because they've been instructed. This is... Like a WWE fake feud, fake war, there's rules of engagement here. Hey, uh, don't question the fraudulence of Stephen A. Smith. You can call him a monkey. You can call him a stooge. You can do this. But calling him out on his lies and the fraudulence, nope, don't go there. That, that's too close to the truth. So he said that me and Faison talked about Stephen A called them monkeys and called them this and that or whatever, but we didn't ex- say anything. We didn't explain the 17 straight straight three pointers that Stephen A said he made in his book. He wrote a book and said that he made 17 straight three pointers. Uh, he said that he had a six inch screw in his knee, and he says that we didn't say nothing about that and and our critique of of Stephen A. We said nothing about it. We had no mention of that. He said these were lies that Stephen A told in his book, and we didn't acknowledge none of those lies because we were told by the bosses, our bosses, not to mention that. We can call him a monkey, but don't mention anything about his line about seven making 17 straight three-pointers. And Wow. Wow. Check it, man. Hey, man, it's your boy ECEO, man. Check it. I'm promising you I got to check in on this one here, man. I can't believe it, man. I got to talk about it. You know, Jason Whitlock, I didn't, I, I should have knew he was going to pop in there somewhere. As you look at the beefs and the battles, now you got the sports and and now the it's, it's all trickling in, man. The Internet is something else, man. Everybody's got sensitive situations going on with things that they believe in. That's what you get when you come to the Internet with it. Um, Once you see what happened with, man, you know, Stephen A. Smith talks about O.J. And then, of course, my partner, Faison Love, he's one known for vocally speaking out. So he speaks out about it. And then also Willie D. speaks on it as well, which those guys are legitimate brothers who they if they feel like speaking on something, they're going to speak on it. Both of them. So when you look at what's really trickling down now, you know, Jason Whitlock felt like he wanted to be a part of this. So he jumps in and starts to sneak this. And as Willie D said, and you guys can watch the uh, Willie D interview. Uh, he, I mean, uh, he just actually just came out, spoke on it uh, today, man. You got to go check that out. It's dope, bro. And like I said, I can also leave the descriptions in our uh, description. Um, the link for the description for sure that you guys can go check that whole thing out. That's my guy, man. Like I said, he really, he rock with a lot of the same dudes I rock with, but his morals have been the same. I've been listening to Willie D. I'm a big fan since, I mean, whew, the early nineties, ball head hoes and all that. When we first, we were young, man. But at the end of the day, I just love the way he transition and the way he bring it, you know, and he ain't going to let you just say anything about something that's coonish. He going to jump right in on it. And, of course, you know, Faison, you see him on my show all the time. He ain't playing no games. I talk to this guy, and he speaks out vocally about what he feels. So 
when you think about it, I look at Jason as he just he he don't like Stephen A. He wants to talk about the 17 points that he say he scored, the screws in his knees. I get it. You know, you mad. He talked about me in his book. He taking it personal, you know, and a lot of times people get on his Internet and get emotional. And I think he got into his emotions. He wanted to be more about, but man, look what he did to me. You know, if y'all would tell that part, then we could really, really, you know, really get him. You know, this is right there. He called it a layup. He won't phase on to say something that, that say, man, look what he did to me. He won't Willie D to say something. Man, look what he did to me. But at the end of the day, Jason, you and that man been doing this forever. Now, this OJ thing you should have been concerned with, but you didn't say nothing. And the reason you didn't say nothing is because you don't care. If you care, then you, 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 you speak about that. You speak about another black man uh, that's going through something. He, he passed away. And these guys are really just saying, hey, man, you know, man, he won his case. Why y'all still criticizing him? But you, you more want to make it about you. So you done made it very emotional. And I feel sorry for you. I hope they'll rub your little sensitive situation so that you can feel better about this way that they're talking about Stephen A., who is your arch rival anyway. So you should be happy at any reason for any of them going at him. But you now saying it's WWE. I don't think so. I think these guys are legitimately... They got a legitimate case. I think they got a legitimate reason to go in on Stephen A. Smith for him saying things that really he shouldn't even be speaking on when this man done passed away. But, you know, like I said, I didn't hear you speak on that like that with that passion and that tenacity to say, hey, man, don't speak on this brother like that when he passed away and he won his case. You ain't said that. No, you more caught up on why y'all don't say what Stephen A. Smith said about me in the book. And Willie D said, I ain't even read the book. So at the end of the day, when you look at this, Willie D ain't read the book. I'm pretty sure Faison ain't read the book, no book that, uh, that no book that Stephen A. Smith has wrote. Nobody cares. These guys really were defending OJ, and you done flipped it into something trying to make it about you. So guys, man, what do y'all think, man? Get in the comments, man. Let me know, is Jason Whitlock out of line? Did Willie D and them, was Willie D and Faison wrong for not including him in the conversation? What is wrong with Jason? All of these people, like I said, this is crazy because I never would have thought the internet would have came to this. But, man, is we hash it out, this black media, man. We got we all brothers. We all look alike. We got to try to figure out a way to make this thing something where we could take it to a positive or create a movement within it. So, you know, all I'm saying is, Jason, man, get out your feelings, bro. You can't be tripping over the fact of how this this man didn't include the fact of you. You know, somebody says something about you or in the book or 17 uh, points being scored. Man, this ain't, wasn't even about that. You twisted it into something else. But let me get, let me get off my soapbox, man. Make sure you guys like subscribe to the channel. Like I said, man, go watch the entirety of Willie D's and uh, his uh, actually uh, his whole that whole spiel was great, man. Willie D keep bringing it, man. Um, and Jason, man, get out your feelings. Boss Talk 101, what a boss is told. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.